All right, it's March 1st, and the temperature is about 60 degrees. Sorry for that little background noise. Sounds like a loud truck or something. Um, the good news is all six of my colonies survived the winter. All of these have a story and a video attached. Um, let me talk about each one. So this one was the video I made where I caught two swarms in one day. This, actually this one I didn't make a video about, but it was my big honey harvest last summer where we got almost 100 pounds out of it. It, uh, we, we actually, I actually caught that at 20 feet up in a tree. The little nuke, which I'm really pleased to have survived, I made a video. That's the colony we rescued out of the family room. I didn't think it was going to make it. It was so late in the season. And frankly, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, it's still only March, and bees can die any time. Um, the, uh, the colony back there in the corner, um, that we made a video about with... Um, that was the colony we rescued from the developer. And this colony right here was um, part of the video where we caught two swarms in one day. Um, that's the second one. And this video right here, I sorry, this uh, this colony right here, is um, is the one the easiest swarm catch ever that I made a video about. So very pleased. What's kind of interesting is this colony's empty, and the bees are exploring, probably looking for food. So it's uh, it's a happy day. I love spring. I'm getting ready to uh, get ready for swarm season. Looking forward to it. We'll make more videos. Um, a couple Saturdays ago when it was warmer on the weekend I did go in and check many of these to check on their food supplies. A couple of them had used almost all of their sugar mush and so I replaced it and I'll, sh I'll attach a picture what it looks like as the bees eat their sugar mush. So great day. Spring's almost here and uh, six out of six survived. That is a very 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 good year.